stop. Whatever you're doing, if you're even thinking about buying Apple TV right now, you need to put down your credit card and watch this entire video. That $129 box you're looking at on Amazon or at Best Buy, it's about to become a paperweight, a relic, a piece of tech history that you will deeply regret buying. Because what I'm about to share with you, what Apple has been secretly working on in their labs, isn't just a simple refresh. This isn't just a small improvement. This is a complete and total revolution for your living room. We're talking about a device so powerful, it could fundamentally change how you watch TV, how you play games, and how you control your entire home. A device that finally delivers on the promise Apple made years ago. And the most shocking part, the detail that has the entire tech industry scrambling, it could be the cheapest Apple TV they have ever released. You're going to want to hear this, because by the end of this video, you will not only know exactly what's coming, you will understand Apple's secret war for the most important room in your house. And you will know exactly why you must, under no circumstances, buy the current Apple TV. Let's start with where we are today. The 2022 Apple TV 4K. It's a good box. It's fine. It runs the A15 Bionic chip. It's fast enough. It handles navigation. It plays 4K HDR content. It does the job. But fine isn't what Apple does. And fast enough is a death sentence in 2025. The 2022 model is now two years old. In Apple years, that is ancient. It was released before the great AI boom that has completely redefined technology. And that, that is the key. The A15 chip in the current Apple TV, it's a capable chip, but it is a dumb chip. It was not built for the new world of generative AI. It was not built for true on-device intelligence. It cannot really run the Apple intelligence that Apple has made the centerpiece of its entire new ecosystem. Right now, your Apple TV is a portal. It's a window to Netflix, to Disney Plus, to Apple TV Plus. The new Apple TV? It's not a portal. It's a brain. And that brain is getting a massive, almost unbelievable upgrade. Forget the A15. Forget the A16. The Le Vision. Imagine a Siri that actually works. A Siri that isn't a frustrating, buggy mess that can't even understand a simple command. Imagine a Siri that understands context. Imagine watching a movie and pausing it to ask, who is that actor? What other movies has he been in? And can you add his highest rated drama to my watch list? And it just happens instantly. Imagine your TV becoming the true central hub of your smart home. Not just a device that can receive commands, but a device that can anticipate them. A hub that uses AI to understand your routines. It knows you're watching a movie, so it proactively dims your matter-enabled smart lights. It sees on your calendar that you have an early meeting, so it suggests a new episode of a show instead of a two-and-a-half-hour movie. This is the smart home we were always promised. A truly ambient, intelligent system. And it all runs on the Apple TV. It doesn't need to go to the cloud for every single request. It's fast, it's private, and it's a level of integration that no other company can match. This is what the A17 Pro unlocks. It transforms the Apple TV from a simple streamer into the conductor of your entire digital life. Okay, so we have a chip that can power a small nation. We have console-level gaming. We have a next-generation AI brain. This thing has to be expensive, right? Apple must be pushing this into the high end. $200? Maybe $250? Wrong. This is the biggest shock of all. This is the part that proves Apple is declaring all-out war. The most persistent, most reliable rumor from every major analyst is the price. $99. Let me say that again. $99. That's not a typo. That is a weapon. At $99, this new Apple TV would be cheaper than the current two-year-old model. It would be less expensive than the 2022 model was at launch. This isn't about profit per unit. Apple isn't trying to make money on the box. This is about total market domination. At $99, this is an impulse buy. At $99, this is Apple's Trojan horse to get inside every single living room in America. They're tired of losing to Roku. They're tired of losing to Amazon's Fire TV Stick. Those companies have dominated the low-end, sub-$100 market for years, and Apple has been content to live in its premium, high-end bubble. Not anymore. 
This new strategy is clear. Use an impossibly low price to crush the competition, and then monetize those hundreds of millions of new users through the App Store, through Apple TV+, through Apple Arcade, and through Apple Music. They are subsidizing the hardware to own the ecosystem. This $99 price tag, combined with the A17 Pro chip, is the single most aggressive move Apple has made in the living room in over a decade. It makes the new Apple TV not just a good deal, it makes it the only logical choice. And it makes buying the current model an act of financial insanity. But they're not stopping there. Let's talk about the other upgrades. The quality of life, improvements that fix the annoyances we've all complained about for years. First, connectivity. This new box is rumored to be one of the first Apple devices to support Wi-Fi 7. You might not even have a Wi-Fi tour. Let's clear this up. The current remote already has Find My Support integrated into your iPhone's control center. But we all know that's not enough. We want a real AirTag. We want a speaker in the remote that can ping. While that specific rumor is still up in the air, the other major request is finally being heard. Backlit buttons. It sounds so small. It sounds so simple. But it's the number one complaint. Trying to find the pause button in a pitch black movie room. Fumbling to turn on the subtitles. It's frustrating and it breaks the immersion. A simple, motion-activated backlight on the remote fixes this instantly. It's a quality-of-life feature that, again, shows Apple is finally listening to its users' biggest complaints. So, a more powerful chip, a revolutionary AI brain, console-level gaming, next-gen Wi-Fi shop double the storage, a better remote, and all for less money than the current model. This is why you cannot buy the 2022 Apple TV. You will be paying more money for a device that is dramatically worse in every single measurable way. But hold on, there's one more thing. Because what if this $99 model is just the beginning? There is another set of rumors. A darker, more ambitious rumor that's been bubbling under the surface. A rumor about a Frankenstein device. What if Apple isn't just releasing one new Apple TV? What if they're releasing two? We have a $99 A17 powered Trojan horse to capture the mass market. But what about the high end? For years, we've heard whispers of a new high end pro device. A device that combines three products into one an Apple TV with a HomePod built in, an Apple TV with a FaceTime camera built in. Think about that a single, elegant box that sits under your television. It's your 4K streamer. It's your high-fidelity, room-filling soundbar, replacing your Sonos or Bose. And it's your video conferencing hub, allowing you to take FaceTime calls on the biggest screen in your house, using center stage to follow you as you walk around the room. This is the holy grail of the smart living room. Now, is this device coming for $99? Absolutely not. This is the $299 or $399 Pro model. But this is where you see the full strategy. A two-tiered attack. First, they hook everyone with a $99 masterpiece. They get you into the ecosystem. Then, they upsell the power users, the home theater enthusiasts, the people who live on FaceTime, to the pro model that does everything. This is how Apple conquers the entire living room, from the entry level to the ultra premium. So, the final question, the only one that really matters. When? When can you actually get this? This is the most protected secret of all. We all thought it would be this past spring. It wasn't. We all thought it would be at the big fall event. It wasn't. Apple is being incredibly quiet about this. But the supply chain, the supply chain doesn't lie. If you go online right now, you will see the 2022 Apple TV is out of stock at major retailers. It's currently unavailable. This is the classic sign. This is the canary in the coal mine. Apple is drying up the channel. They're selling off the last of the old inventory before they flip the switch. The window is narrowing. All sources, all of the most credible insiders, are now pointing to one of two possibilities. Possibility one, a surprise, last-minute holiday launch. A November surprise, press release to dominate the holiday shopping season. This is less likely, but possible. Possibility two, and this is the one to bet on, a massive, main stage launch event in the spring of 2026. 
Apple knows what it has. The A17 Pro, the $99 price tag, the AI revolution. This is not a product you just dump in a press release. This is a product you build an entire event around. This is the product that redefines Apple's entire home strategy for the next five years. So we're not talking about if. We are talking about when, and when is, at most, just a few short months away. Which brings us back to the beginning. You're standing in the store. Your cursor is hovering over the Add to Cart button for the 2022 Apple TV. Do you buy it? The answer is an absolute, unequivocal, no, do not buy it. Do not buy it for $129. Do not buy it if it's on sale for $100. Do not even buy it if it's on clearance for $80. Waiting just a little bit longer, just a few more months, gets you a device that is no. T, just an improvement. It's a replacement. It is twice as powerful. It is infinitely smarter. It is better at gaming. It is faster at streaming. It has double the storage. And it will cost less money. Buying the A15 model today is literally lighting your money on fire. It's purchasing a device that is obsolete before you even take it out of the box. It is the very last dumb device Apple will ever sell for the living room. The new Apple TV, the A17 powered $99 beast, that is the one to wait for. That is the device that finally delivers on the promise. It's not just a new Apple TV. It's the real Apple TV. And it's almost here.